this is what I thought the first day of freedom after lockdown would look like and this is what it actually looks like. <laughs> I can't believe it, our first day of freedom, being allowed to sit outside <laughs> in restaurants with our friends and this is what we've woken up to. I had a 7am booking at Soho Farmhouse this morning for breakfast, I was imagining a nice sunny breakfast on the terrace, safe to say. I have cancelled that booking, <laughs> but don't worry, I'm going tomorrow. I just hope that all of these plants in our newly planted herbaceous border are going to survive. Oh no, my broad beans. My broad beans are not looking happy. Dyson is set to 37 degrees. I'm going to warm myself up with a 20 minute spin. Gosh, we didn't think we'd have a snowy outlook until next winter good morning my darlings a proper good morning welcome to another vlog so today is april the 12th which is the first day of lockdown being semi-lifted here in the uk semi-lifted because certain things are allowed to be open now like hair salons nail salons restaurants where you can eat outside and I think non-essential shops as well yeah definitely non-essential shops because I'm going to Vista tomorrow duh <laughs> Or maybe it's just because Bista's outside. No, I'm pretty sure non-essential shops as well. So to be honest, it's also confusing. I'm pretty sure we're not allowed to eat inside, even with our own family. <sighs> Anyone else just feel like it's all a jumble in their heads right now. So as you will have seen from the previous clips, we woke up to a complete whiteout, was not expecting snow. I really hope my little seedlings are going to survive. But in anticipation of lockdown lift i did book a slot at the farmhouse this morning and initially i was like no that would just be absolutely ridiculous if we've got to sit outside in the courtyard in the snow i don't want to do that but a peloton ride and a good old shower later and the snow has mostly disappeared and look at that evidence of blue skies spring is here <laughs> we've had all seasons lately so I'm intrigued to know what you guys think about this outfit because I don't know how I feel about it. In some ways I feel like I should give myself a gold star for doing something a little bit different. Um, wanting obviously to wear a spring dress but wanting to make it a little bit more appropriate given the fact that it's probably only about 5 degrees outside. It's meant to get up to a whopping 11 degrees so we shall see. But this is my sleeveless knit from Lydia's first edit with Karen Millen and then I've popped it over my Tory Burch dress and I thought it looked quite nice and drew everything in together by taking the waist belt from the Tory Burch dress and bringing it over the knit. So <laughs> I feel like this is most definitely going to be a Marmite outfit. Have I completely forgotten how to put outfits together? That is quite possible. Um, and then I've also got on, now this is quite unlike me, they are the Chloe boots, unlike me in the fact that they are quite chunky. I have to be honest, after reading your comments in the video where I got these boots, and I got them from Farfetch, I believe my Farfetch discount code is still live uh, for 10% off, I'll leave it down below. A lot of your comments actually put me off keeping these boots because you're saying how rubber doesn't stretch. They are already quite tight, but then so many of you absolutely love them as well. But I thought, gosh, if rubber doesn't stretch and they're already quite tight, I'm going to send them back. And then I just didn't. There was something about them. I just couldn't put them in the box and say goodbye. So I ended up keeping them and I thought this is quite a good outfit to wear them with. And they're not too tight when worn with bare legs. So this is my first day of freedom outfit of the day. I think I'm actually, I've just air wrapped my hair just with the barrel attachment. It's my favorite way of just kind of finishing off drying my hair when I'm in a little bit of a rush or just want to get out of the house. I always find that this side takes so much longer than this side. Like this side will take maybe 15 barrels worth of hair and then this side is literally like three i don't know why that is because my parting is very central maybe i just grab loads more hair on this side because i'm so bored at that point i just want it to be over and i'm coming to the end <laughs> if anyone knows where that quote is from then we are soulmates <laughs> let me know down below i am coming to the end anyway as you can tell i'm in a great mood i'm going to grab my handbag a coat because it's still quite chilly and we are heading to the farmhouse. Back 
home again. Apologies for that uh, non-talkative clip at the farmhouse, but as you know, it's uh, not really the kind of place you can do a lot of filming, but we basically uh, had a lovely brunch, my usual vegetarian um, full English, which was delicious. And it was so nice to see so many people there. Obviously the seating areas are all outside as per the regulations, but the main barn area has loads of outdoor seating. We managed to get pretty much the best spot on the sofas right next to the outdoor fire pit. So that was great. And it was just so nice to see so many people there. There were still plenty of tables, so I don't think they were at full capacity by any stretch, but really, really nice, very buzzy atmosphere. And then fueled up on our veggie breakfast, we went for a little walk around the kitchen garden area. Just whenever I go there, I always find inspiration from something, whether it's a recipe or furniture, cushion styling or in this case the garden and I actually saw a lady there called Carly who's been to visit us here before giving us kitchen advice garden ad advice here before and she is the head gardener at Soho Farmhouse so it was amazing getting her thoughts I'm pretty sure I told you about that in a previous vlog it was amazing getting her thoughts for here um, but she was also explaining what she'd done at the farmhouse kitchen garden and I think we're gonna chat again about getting her help for some various areas here too too, especially when we do redo our kitchen garden which is probably going to be in a couple of years but really really lovely morning there gosh i've actually had to take off my ju jumper would you call it a jumper my vest because it's actually pretty roasting now <laughs> especially where the sun has been coming into the house all day and i'm starting to feel a little bit frumpy do you know do you ever have this where you get changed in the morning and you love your outfit and then a couple of hours later you look in the mirror and you're like oh not sure I made the right decision. So I've come up here and I'm going to refresh my makeup because it's actually not lasted very well today. <laughs> but what I do not need to top up is my deodorant. And I mentioned this about six weeks ago, I have been testing native deodorant for a while. Um, and I say testing because aluminium free clean deodorants I was skeptical. I was very, very skeptical about this because I want to be putting clean ingredients on my skin, but I'm just not willing to compromise when it comes to how well products work. But I am pleased to report after six weeks of trialing this, including my recent Peloton workouts, this is blooming good. So I'm changing a lot of things over within my entire beauty routine to try and be a little bit cleaner, making sure that the ingredients that I'm putting on my skin are kind to my skin. So this is paraben free, sulfate free, it's vegan, cruelty free, but most importantly it works really really well. So I have got the fragrance here, citrus and herbal musk. I have to say they have the most amazing selection of, I say fragrances because they do actually have the loveliest smell to them. It's so nice in fact that I'm just gonna do a little top up. Something that I have found with other deodorants that I've tried is that they can be kind of dry and they just don't feel very moisturizing whereas this feels really nice and creamy and almost balmy like it's literally moisturizing the underarm area which is great but it does have the loveliest smell to it sometimes the spray deodorants that i used to use in the past i just could not bear the smell i used to have to literally spray them and then evacuate the room because it was so horrible but i definitely don't have that problem with this so I went for the fragrance um, Citrus and Herbal Musk. Another one that I have is Eucalyptus and Mint. And oh my goodness, that's a really good like post-workout one, very fresh and zingy. There's also a charcoal one. There are loads. I will leave the website link down below. But yeah, as I said, most importantly, it works really, really well. I'm not the most overly sweaty person <laughs> in the whole world, but I do like to be obviously fresh <laughs> at all times. And now that we are leaving the house, emerging, into the real world again. We want to be confident <laughs> that we smell good. So this has passed my test. I would say if you're switching deodorant, give it a couple of weeks as with anything, whether it's your skincare routine or even a new hair routine, it takes a little bit of time for you to get used to it. And something else I want to rest assured that it's gonna work all day long. And even if I apply this before my exercise in the morning, I don't need to top it up throughout the day. It really does have that great lasting power. They also have a scent called sandalwood and fig, which is one that I really want to try. Two notes that I really like. I believe they've got another citrus one, a paradise flower one. They really do have the loveliest selection of smells which is important so i will leave their website link down below i also do body washes they do toothpaste i'm really intrigued to try their toothpaste because again that's something that you literally 
put in your mouth you don't want any nasty ingredients in there and with my code which I'll leave on the screen here you can save 20% so with a box of three it's normally $36 they do ship to the UK as well and then you get it with my code for $24 in fact that's more like 30% off 33% off so it's a really good deal um, and that should pretty much see you through at least a couple of months I'm using the same one that I've been using for six weeks check that out and without even meaning to it matches my outfit well, you know that summer is almost here when the Miravo <laughs> arrives and oh my goodness, they have been very generous. They've sent a few of my absolute favorites. This is a massive bottle of their Pure, which I think is my number one. Or La Folie. La Folie is also a lovely one. It's got a bit of a sparkle to it, but Pure is their like classic. You want it crisp and cold on a summer's day or a spring day or even an autumn winter day <laughs> it's that good um and then there's mirabeau en provence the classic which oh, do you know what i'm not a wine expert but this one this one i would say is a little bit sweeter i hope i've got that right uh this one i would say is better if you're having do you know what i would almost have this with like red meat so if i'm having a steak then i would go for this whereas this in my wine pairing very limited slash no knowledge is what I would pair with something lighter like a salad or something and then Belle Anne hopefully I've pronounced that right I don't know if they did this last year but this is a box of wine which is epic they actually very kindly sent two of these and I always think of this one as kind of like the cool younger sister great for garden parties that kind of thing so oh yes so grateful to Mirabeau and you guys know if you watched my vlogs last summer that it is my Oh, absolute favourite. My mouth is actually watering thinking about this. So the big bottle of Pure came with two of these as the protectors and you guys know what I'm, <laughs> what I'm gonna say next. This looks like an amazing plant pot to me. It's even got a drainage hole in there. So gosh, do you know what? That's a really good size for dahlias. So I'm gonna take these two. That is a very big drainage hole. I might have to um, put that on something or do I don't know, that is very big. <laughs> but fantastic little plant pots. I wonder what the craziest thing that I will repurpose as a plant pot will be. We've got paint trays and now we've got wine support packaging, but yeah, fantastic. They will be going into the greenhouse. Now these have arrived from the body shop and I have always absolutely loved the Body Shop's body butters. I feel like they are just an iconic product. 96 hour nourishing moisture. I don't think I have seen a claim like that before. 96 hours, that is incredible. Avocado, shea or shea, mango. And they also sent a dishum box. I just love these mailboxes. Definitely one of the best things to come out of lockdown. And this is the vegan sausage naan roll kit. Oh my gosh. We've tried their, um, obviously not vegan, but their bacon baps before. I think that was naan as well, and it was delicious. So, gosh, these with the wine, <laughs> that is my evening sorted. A lovely delivery from the body shop. In fact, I'm gonna pop some of this on now. And then the bougiest of them all, this fabulous delivery has arrived from Tom Ford Beauty to celebrate their new fragrance. And I hope I'm going to pronounce this correctly, Soleil Brulon. I was actually tuning in to a Zoom event for this um, in the car on the way home. And when they first said it, I thought they said Celine Dion, but it's Soleil Brulon. And it is the most gorgeous addition to their Soleil range. Soleil Blanc has been the one that I have been wearing so much lately, along with my favourite rose prick from Tom Ford. Tom Ford fragrances are the ones, if you want people to be like, oh, you smell amazing, you always get a compliment on your scent wearing Tom Ford. So I'm very much looking forward to wearing this one and seeing how it um, smells on me. And then there was a makeup masterclass. Wow, look at that. So we've got a gold shimmer, a gold lip gloss i think these are their highlight and blush duos Ooh, that is their bronzer so i have had one of their massive bronzers before but that is a really good size for in the handbags this is really slim packaging love that um is this going to be the same yeah a little bit deeper shade getting me ready for summer and a lovely bronze glow and then yes this is their highlights and tom ford highlight is just spectacular don't know if you'll be able to see that very well on my fingers but I'm going to top up my late my makeup later and I shall use those. It's two hours later and I've just had a notification from Soho House that we have been allocated another slot. You basically have to book a slot um, to be able to go to limit numbers and we've been given a slot this evening. So we're going to go and have dinner with friends and I can't wait. 
outdoor, safe, COVID secure dinner with friends. So this gives me an excuse to very quickly top up my makeup and use some of these new Tom Ford products. This is actually the Dior Forever Foundation. This is what I applied this morning. I think I actually forgot to powder this morning and that is why it did not last at all. But it does blend really, really nicely. So if you need to top up at the end of the day, it's good for that. Okay, so this is the Tom Ford Glow Bronzer in O2 Terra. There was almost like a, a meditation in this Zoom that was going on um, for the launch of the fragrance. And oh my goodness, it got me so excited for summer holidays. That is such a lovely natural color. I'm actually gonna select some of the more pinky highlight. It's got quite a good color payoff. Oh, that is gorgeous. And the lighter one. That is stunning. Oh my gosh. Wow, that is a chunky mascara, badass black. See, it's a really nice stiff brush. So if you're applying it over the top of day old makeup, amazing. I do usually do eyeshadow before mascara, but because I am rushing, totally forgot. Ooh, this is kind of like a top cover anyway. Maybe if you applied this with a slightly damp brush, it could give like a full on coverage, but this is a really nice like topper to add sparkle to your favorite colors. I don't know if you'll be able to see this, but that is so beautiful. And then my usual Tom Ford brow gel. I have sadly run out of my Tom Ford Sable Smoke lipstick and it is, was my number one, but they have discontinued it. So I'm going to pop on, I will do my MAC Quick Mist of Setting Spray. Hair down from the clip and we are ready to go. Good morning, my darlings. It is quite a different morning on the outlook today compared to yesterday. No snow in sight. In fact, look at this. It is a beautiful day. Oops, we have got Mark and Steve back again. As Charlie just finished his workout. They are here to block up some chimneys, <laughs> hallelujah, um, and also hopefully repair some of my raised beds down in the kitchen garden, which is great news because I definitely want to spend a lot of time down there this week. I think this week is quite monumental because the weather is really changing. We're getting a lot more consistent, like 10, 12, even 14 degrees, so. I need to get gardening and they're going to be putting the wood around my cut flower garden area which is very very exciting Ooh, i don't know why i always get so out of breath when i start vlogging so today i struggled again putting an outfit together i honestly have just lost the knack i want to be warm but comfy and cute and i really want to get a little bit more wear out of this gorgeous skirt i found that i thought i looked a little bit voluminous until I added my Luepe belt and I really like how it looks now that I've got the belt on I think it just breaks it up accentuates this little middle section so this is the beautiful pleated skirt Chloe boots on today is the day that I'm going to Vista Village I'm so excited so excited to go shopping and also just so excited to be like surrounded by options for various different chai lattes and all of that fun stuff you really appreciate those silly little things when you don't have access to them. So I've gone for the pleated skirt, Chloe boots for comfort and a little bit of height. And then this is a very old Stella McCartney roll neck, which is actually so warm considering how thin it is because I wanted something quite form fitting on the top. Um, my hair is not doing what I want it to do. So I've just added some curls, scraped it back with sunglasses. They are a hair accessory as opposed to eye protection today. And then I think I'm gonna wear my Senrev cardigan over the top, which I might Put this belt on over the top of and then my little YSL cross body bag but first before we go I need to go and quickly water my plants and remove the frost fleecing that I put on a couple of days ago because it is gloriously sunny so I want my plants to get all the warmth and goodness from the sun while I'm shopping. It looks like the herbaceous border survived the frosts. I think they're established enough that they can handle a little bit of snow. 
I think that is literally my wood <laughs> for the beds coming up the drive now. I'm going to give you a very quick reminder of how they currently look so that I can show you an update later. There it comes. So I just took my fuss fleece off the beds and it looks like my lettuces have survived. Some of them are in cloches but I did put frost fleece over the whole beds. The mint is now gone, ready for me to grow something lovely in here. Beds are looking lovely that I prepared at the weekend and this square here, my cut flower area is what's going to be transformed today hopefully where this wood is all rotten not going to last much longer gosh and now they're going to reverse that massive lorry down the chapel lane to this village they are asking everyone to keep their masks on all throughout the village which is a good idea I reckon because last time I came it was getting pretty busy here obviously there's no one around me so <laughs> this is fine um, but I'm just waiting here for Emily and Em to arrive and we are going to have a glorious day shopping together my top tip as always is just to get here as early as you can because it gets busier around lunchtime but now fairly quiet, fairly chilled and it is the most beautiful day. I saw the Nicholson's van as we were driving down and it is the same team that work here that did our garden so hopefully I might spot some of the chaps that did our house but looking around the gardens just look absolutely gorgeous, lots of lavender, they always do such a good job with like the aesthetics here, it's so beautiful. There's also now a pizza terrace here behind me, a little pizza east pizza terrace so we might stop there for lunch um yeah i'm just gonna sit in the sunshine check my emails until the girls get here this looks interesting brides do good connecting women protecting girls stella and smart works interesting so this opens on the 15th which but tomorrow next is sun has come out and so have em and emily <laughs> em and em reunited <laughs> It's just so glorious. We have been planning our day. We've got Prada booked. We've got Dior booked. We have got Burberry. Burberry booked. Oh, yeah. Gucci is a no-go. Even though we got here an hour after it opened. I'm guest list closed. I need to be here dot on. You do. In the queue and run to Gucci. Literally yeah, 8am beeline for Gucci, which yes. is a shame. But we might try again later. Yeah. We'll see. The first stop is Prada. Our first port of call is going to be Loewe. This time last year I came and got a basket bag for about 70% off, so let's see. 70% off basket. I love the look of thick straps. This is really beautiful. We've got some very feminine spring dresses. Of course, I cannot walk past Chloe without a little visit. A biscuitiers pop up and it is absolutely beautiful. Look at this! Charlie and I pretty much bought up the whole store last time we came in here, so let's see what they've got. photos of this candelabra, 46 pounds, and also this lamp, which I think is really lovely. This is down to 140. Even this chair is very cute as a pair, 285, that's really good. Next stop is Dior. I don't think I'll be able to film in here. Wasn't allowed to film in Prada, but came very close to buying a Cartier bag. <gasps> I'll pop a picture of it on the screen here. The security guy's already looking at me from inside the store, so it's not gonna happen. 
I've made the fatal mistake of trying on a coat in Dior and it is something else. coffee break or a chai latte break this is the Oliphant's bakery and in winter they do cinnamon buns and in summer they do ice cream and they've got these gorgeous like faux floral pergolas we're sat underneath one with perfect blue skies it is rather gorgeous and I have just done something very naughty I'm on a bit of a high because I just bought the she has the and she has the spending the most door magical shopping experience it's like it's magical the, it's the most perfect spring outdoor dining but looks super classy it's you it's in a stunning. coat it's, it's you in a coat it yeah. literally is and, and i just layer said to the winter. girls yes i will layer it layer it over like a chunky cashmere net for winter and now that we are dining outside all the time i'll wear it with my spring dresses i've got an outdoor dinner on friday that i want to look lovely for so i'm gonna wear it then Oh the colour is the colour is you. It's muted and pastely and gorgeous and will go with everything. It will go with your bags so well. This is the voice in my head as and a human like, being. She, she put it on and honestly I thought, oh you already own that. I wasn't like, oh that's nice, you should buy it. I kind of thought, well it's yours. It, yeah, that it, wasn't it just the question fit. is whether that you're going to get question. it. It was like this is my yeah. This is this is how shopping should be. You didn't put it back and feel like you needed to go back for no. it. was like and also to think of Vista because you needed an appointment at Dior. It's not like you could have put it back and gone and got it anyway. No, exactly. So so the coat is now purchased and oh my gosh it was about a third of the normal retail price and it's just like one of those timeless things I'll probably give it to my grandchildren when I'm an old lady Can your grandchild can you adopt me I want seedlings in a Dior coat oh my goodness it's a dream I cannot wait to show it to you when I can try them properly I did just show you a couple of clips in the store naughtily oh my gosh but anyway time to breathe and have a coffee and then back to shopping and then lunch. I have to say the discounts in Kate Spade are so good. So this coat is 81% off from 525 to 99. Obviously I don't need to buy another coat, but it is so gorgeous. Perfect blue sky. Next stop, Burberry, which we totally just walked completely past. Didn't realize. In fact, I have bought a very wonderful souvenir home with me. I bought Em back to the countryside. Before I drove home, I had to go and see the daffodil fields. So I made a pit stop. Yep, the, the most perfect oh photogenic pit stop. So the Glebe Farm um, sunflowers slash daffodils officially opened yesterday. And I showed Em some pictures and she's like, Josie, I have to come by there on my way home. So we've come to just take some gorgeous snaps here. And isn't it just magical? It's just so beautiful. It is just serene serene is a word i love all things spring and this is like a spring chicken has just exploded, exploded. Literally. it literally so is awesome. and there were a family doing a photo shoot oh my and it goodness. was just the sweetest thing it's still going Look it's at already the like an easter egg hunt here isn't it will be the perfect well the family of... that own this place they did they bought their boys here at easter that's so sweet isn't it cute oh my easter goodness blend. it's just wholesome it's like the sound of music it literally is so reminds me no. Alive with so, the sound of music. She's off, she's off. <laughs> so I've popped on a different dress. Gosh, my hair needs a good brush. I popped on a lovely new Tory Burch dress to take some snaps in here. Of course I did. And I think we got some nice photos, even though my memory card, what was she doing? <laughs> even though my memory card didn't work in my big camera. Got a couple of little snaps on this one. I think it's quite um, appropriate for 
this kind of setting but it's just gorgeous the sun is going down slowly but surely and it's so beautiful and peaceful but now we're gonna head back and I'm gonna show you what I bought at Pista okay back home again I can't actually see myself from the viewfinder very clearly because you're straight in the sunlight I thought I would show you all the bits and bobs that I picked up at Vista Village. I had a couple of people ask how to pronounce it because in the last video I called it Bychester, but I just call things weird names. I don't know why, but I do. So, the first thing is the smallest thing. I'm just going to go in no particular order other than this because I really want to eat one of these. So, this is not for doggies, not for doggies. This is Maitre Choux. I'm so sorry, young man. I have literally just served you your dinner. And I think they're eclairs. I'm not sure the technical name for anything, but it's choux pastry. I've got vanilla, pistachio, I think it's blueberry, and then another pistachio. So oh, I'm just gonna have to have a bite out of one of these pistachio ones because they are so good. And they are works of art. Look at that, Dexy, no. Isn't that just a work of art? No, not for sausages. So good. I always have so much help when I do any kind of unboxing because you're a nosy Parker. You're a nosy Parker, you are, I love you. Of course. I went into Soho Home. It is always very dangerous when I go in there. You guys know I'm just a little bit obsessed. Our little round bobble table that's behind me is from Soho Home. What else have we bought from there from Vista? I'll leave my other vlog where we did a lot of shopping in Soho Home linked on the screen here. But this time, I saw this lovely candelabra and this was a really good price and we have something very similar to this, if not the same, in the dining room and we love to eat by candlelight so I thought it'd be nice to add another one of these as an addition. And then I also got, now I haven't bought the main body of it here because it's all very wrapped up and probably going to go to the cottage. So I'll just show you this and pop a picture on the screen here, this beautiful lamp. And again, I just thought it was a really good price. I think it was more than half price. Um, and I really like how it comes out on a bit of an arm. I thought that'd be really nice for like a little reading nook. Dexy, stop it. Yeah, maybe here, maybe at the cottage. We'll see where it ends up. But I thought it was gorgeous and it will definitely have a great place somewhere. The pop-up in the middle of Vista always changes around um, and this time it was Biscuiteers. I absolutely love Biscuiteers. If you're not close to London, you may not know what they are. They basically do the most beautiful, hand-iced, really intricate biscuits and they are truly works of art. I have got dinner with friends on Friday and um, it's a birthday dinner so I bought these homegrown biscuits. They have got loads of different like veggies, tomatoes, broccoli. I'm not going to open it just because it's a gift but when's this video going live? Sunday, yeah. You won't see this before it is given. So I thought that was a really lovely little um, thing to add to a gifting selection. And then we have the big purchase, one of the big items that I brought home with me from Vista. You'll have seen me try this on in the Dior store. And it was one of those things that I, I pulled it off the rail just thinking, wow, that is spectacular. Not really thinking that I would end up purchasing in this coat but as soon as I put it on I, it just felt so so right I absolutely love it I used hands-free shopping so I didn't have to cart all of this around with me which is great because this is actually pretty heavy this is a real splurge and I know that it is a little bit bonkers buying a coat just as we're about to go into spring and summer but I thought with all the outdoor dining that we're doing and having eaten outside last night I can tell you that it is pretty chilly, so yes, I will get use out of this over the next few months, but it's kind of, I mean, you guys saw it in the clips earlier, I just only want to wear this coat from now on. And I was thinking, I'm pretty sure this is my first ever Dior purchase, and I think this is the only thing that I own from Dior other than makeup, so we might be opening 
expression in Aladdin's cave? Don't know. Maybe we're opening an Aladdin's cave, maybe we're opening something else. But, so, in this lovely dust bag, we have the absolute coat of dreams. Oh my goodness. Shall I try it on again now? I'll just show it to you up close. <gasps> the price tag on this is eye-watering. I paid less than a third of the original price. Holy moly. Made in Italy. Do you know what? I didn't even check the size. I didn't even check the size of this. It's a 34, an Italian 34, which I think might actually be a UK 10, or maybe it's a UK 8, um, but it is the most beautiful. I think this is like a, I'm pretty sure this is a wool, but it is a very pale blush pink, almost like a white. This has the most beautiful drape to it. I love a wrap coat. I find that that silhouette is the silhouette that I feel most comfortable in. I literally find them comfortable in the way that you can just like snuggle yourself up in them. They look great worn open over outfits. So like I tried it on earlier, it looked great over, even though I had um, a pretty voluminous skirt, a belt, a cardigan, it looked great thrown on over the top of that. I'm just gonna pop it on over this dress. This is not gonna show it in the best light, quite literally, because we are just stood in the living room, but you can see how beautiful the drape is. I do feel a little bit almost biblical wearing this because it is a little bit, um, I don't know, it's a little bit biblical. <laughs> I feel a little bit like a priest, but if you've watched my videos throughout winter before, you'll know that this is very much the silhouette that I love to wear. Again, the lighting out here is not perfect for showing you, but I will show you very soon, um, probably tomorrow, I'm not sure, but you can see uh, the silhouette with it closed here because I only really tried it on with it open in the store. There is a lot of material here. It is so warm, but it's really this beautiful drape along the front that I think is so, so elegant. Really lovely deep pockets. You could really bundle yourself up with a gorgeous cashmere knit, a really chunky jumper, crossbody bag. I think that would look absolutely gorgeous. And lengthwise, I've just got little socks on. It is a lovely long length. You could do a proper little bow here. But I love that you can also have a little bit more of your outfit fit showing underneath. I am in love. I was almost having to whisper out there because now that the restrictions have lifted somewhat, we are allowed to have uh, Charlie's kind of sports masseuse, masseur, um, chiropractor come to the house and I've asked if I can have a treatment with him later on so I'm very much looking forward to that. He does everything like the neck cricking and the back clicking um, and Charlie's having a treatment upstairs in the bedroom so I was trying to be a little bit quiet out there but I cannot wait to wear the coat it just is honestly the most beautiful beautiful piece I, it was an impulse purchase but you know when you just feel so lovely in something what do you think Chiggy Lynn? I approve mommy Good, I'm glad. Then we popped into Ralph Lauren, Polo Ralph Lauren, or Ralph Lauren, depending on how you say it. And one of my best girlfriends is having a little baby boy very soon. And I made the mistake of buying another friend a newborn onesie. And it was so, so sweet. But her little boy was a bit of a chunky little boy. Oh my goodness. Dickie, no, you're not allowed to jump up there, sweet boy. And sadly, it didn't fit him, so I'm not making that mistake again. So I bought the cutest little baby grow in the size six months. So it's this gorgeous, fleecy, super, super soft material. It's got these little blue dots, little blue um, embroidered Ralph Lauren pony. You've got the blue piping. And I also think it's really long. I said, is this a supermodel baby outfit? I don't know, oh my gosh. I personally think babies should literally be wrapped up in the softest materials and not and not necessarily in like denim when they're such tiny little babies because they need to be cuddled at all times. And now I'm going to show you the final thing from Vista, but I need to take you into the drawing room. And here it is. Yes, we finally got the Bang & Olufsen A9 speaker. Oh my goodness. So this is the bronze shade. If you watched my previous Vista vlog, you'll know that we got the smaller speaker and we were blown away by how incredible the sound quality was. And it looked great in here. 
um, but we just could not stop thinking about the A9. The sound that this gives is so spectacular, so deep, so rich, and I actually think it looks amazing in here. So Bang & Olufsen have got this app where you can actually like project the speaker into your room so you can scan your room around on an iPad or an iPhone and position the speaker and we decided that it actually looked so cool in here. So where we have moved the furniture like forward a bit because it's apparently a bit of an interior design faux pas to have furniture pressed up against the back of the walls. It's perfect for having the speaker in this corner. I'm sure we're going to do a little bit of playing around if you've got an idea, another idea of where we might be able to put it then let me know. But Someone very wise once said to me, speakers are there to be heard and not seen. However, this speaker obviously demands to be seen. It is so striking. But yeah, it just works so, so well in here. It's got this light kind of taupey brown fabric overlay and then this beautiful bronze back, oak wooden legs. I think they're oak, they look like oak. It obviously connects via Bluetooth and I wish I could play you something, but it obviously it's going to depend on your speakers, how you're listening to this vlog to get the quality. But when I say it is the best quality speaker I've ever heard, it really, really is. So when you come into the room, it's not too in your face, but you do notice it is there. But the color of it, oh, and I actually think that in such an old-fashioned room it actually makes the most incredible statement so yeah i would highly recommend a visit into the bang and olufsen store if you visit vista they have the most amazing discounts amazing products and yeah i am so very happy to finally have the bang and olufsen a9 speaker so darlings, that is everything that I got from Vista today. It was a really, really great day out. Em has now left. She's on her way back to London, back to Chiswick. And I'm about to get ready for my sports massage, which I'm very much looking forward to. They're not like a mega relaxing massage, but I feel like after a day on my feet, it's going to be really lovely. So I'm going to end the vlog here. I hope you enjoyed watching. Where possible, I'll leave everything um, from Bista linked down below, as well as what I was wearing earlier, and this gorgeous dress from Tory Burch. It is so, so lovely. This was very kindly sent by the Tory Burch team with a beautiful bag and little shoes as well, which I cannot wait to wear all together. It'll be such a cute outfit, um, but perfect for the kind of thing that I like to wear around the house and out and about in spring. So darlings, that is all from me for today. Thank you so much for watching. Don't forget to give the video a thumbs up if you enjoyed it, and I'll see you in the next one. Bye.